Greetings, everyone. My name is Marta Garcia. I am a senior public health major here at Shriner, and I will be talking to you about Cooking for Optimal Health. Cooking for Optimal Health takes place at the Arthur Major Community Clinic in Bandera, Texas. The program takes place in a rural community that has limited access to healthy food options. All participants are enrolled in the Risk Busters program, which is a clinical and educational preventative health program that is year round. The main focus for this program is to determine any dietary behavior and health outcome changes in pre-diabetic, diabetic, overweight, and or hypertensive individuals. Um, the main objective is to increase the awareness in participants about the importance of a healthy living lifestyle. We strive to educate uh, participants on the importance of a healthy living lifestyle by promoting healthy at-home cooking methods, and we strive individuals to maintain or decrease old glucose, blood, cholesterol, and body mass index. So each month we gathered and I presented a dis different recipe along with an educational lesson on a specific topic explaining why the recipe is healthy or review why certain ingredients um, are a great alternative than using traditional ingredients and recipes. Um, lessons include information about each food group, different vitamins and minerals, and how to read food labels when shopping for groceries. So we've made pozole, healthy pozole, uh, we've made um, healthy gumbo, breakfast bars, different types of pasta. So one day we made a watermelon and watermelon, like it was a really good watermelon salad. And I personally am really picky with what I eat and like just trying these healthier foods, like make me realize like, oh, maybe I do like salads, you know? So um, I get to learn along with participants, which is great. Um, at the beginning of the program, each participant's height, weight, blood pressure, and lab work are measured. Um, laboratory includes um, their cholesterol levels, um, as well as each participant also received a dietary habit survey and after the intervention to measure any health outcomes and dietary changes that occurred after the formal cooking instruction. Um, the survey included questions like, if they had the like support at home, um, how much fruit, vegetables, wheat, uh, meat that they consumed on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis, um, and also like the how much physical activity they did. Um, the data is still pending. Our program usually. Um, ends in May. However, due to the situation, uh, we weren't able to obtain the final laboratory results. However, we still plan to hopefully get that data. Um, as of right now, our plan is to continue the formal co cooking instruction or information sessions um, by recording myself and providing a lesson as well as a new recipe and just sending them the link to their emails or like their favorite method, communication method. Um, however, during the duration of the program, participants express their change in lifestyle, health progress, and loss of weight, et cetera. So overall, the program allowed individuals to make healthier decisions and have awareness of better food choices, and participants acknowledge a decrease in their weight and transform their poor decision food making. So although the program offered resources every month, some participants were less consistent than others, which was a challenge we faced. Um, in the future for this program to be more effective, we need to focus on communicating well with each participant to, make, to maintain that consistency. So for example, my recommendation would be to schedule weekly phone calls to talk about their weekly food intake, um, physical activity, or if they need um, more resources. That way, participants are actively involved in intervention, um, like weekly, instead of just meeting once a month and like, here's your information, um, kind of, it, it would allow us to like have more accurate data. So a special thanks to the Arthur Nagel Community Clinic and my faculty sponsor, Dr. Grubasek. Again, thank you.